All right, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Big Rich, Queens, New York City, where we get busy. A little Friday afternoon business. Heat wave in New York City. Probably gonna reach 103 degrees today. Not a cloud in sight. Ladies and gentlemen, come on in. Wipe your feet on the rug. Throw some smoke in the atmosphere. I just lit up some top dog sour diesel sativa sunshine for the show. You know how we do. Let's get right into business. Reputed Colombo associate charged in Brooklyn burglary spree. By my guy John Anisi from the New York Daily News. A reputed Colombo crime family associated with a history of theft and burglary arrests dating back to the 1980s has been charged with committing a half a dozen break-ins in Brooklyn. Career crook John Cotullo, 55, and accomplice Samuel Kravchenko, 36, were indicted on Wednesday and charged with breaking into two homes and four stores, stealing more than 82000 in cash and merchandise and array of Rolexes and fancy jewelry. Nice lick. I like it. Hopefully nobody got hurt. Let's read on. Cotullo and Kravchenko's spree lasted from August 2022 to January of this year. Brooklyn prosecutors alleged and was bookended by a pair of home burglaries, one on West 12th Street in Gravesend on August 8th and the other on 76th Street in Bensonhurst on January 18th. They also hit two grocery stores and a vape shop in Bensonhurst plus a grocery store in Bath Beach. Prosecutors allege. Allege. Investigators caught a break in the case after Kravchenko was arrested on January 26th when he was stopped for failing to signal. Police found 39 oxys and two police scanners with detectives going on to use cell phone data, video, and other evidence to link them to the break-ins, prosecutors said. Cotullo is a Colombo crime family associate. His lawyer, Lance Lazaro, denied the connection to organized crime. Quote, that was used to inflame the judge against my client without any basis to support that allegation, he said. We will fight the charges vigorously, and he will be exonerated. He is innocent. I like it. If my lawyer used the word vigorously, if he uses that word, I got a good lawyer. That's what I say. Both men were arraigned in Brooklyn Supreme Court Wednesday on a 74-count indictment, charged with multiple counts of burglary, conspiracy, grand larceny, and other offenses. They were ordered held without bail. These defendants are allegedly professional burglars whose crime spree violated the, san the sanctity of local homeowners and businesses in the Bensonhurst community, and we will now seek to hold them accountable said the DA. Cotullo has served four stints in state prison, starting with a 1986 conviction for grand larceny auto in Brooklyn. He also served time for criminal possession of stolen property in 1994 and for burglary in 2008. Most recently, he was hit with a three-and-a-half to seven-year prison term for a 2017 burglary conviction on Staten Island. He and two accomplices broke into a home in 2015 and ripped the alarm system and motion sensors from the walls, but were caught by detectives laying in wait for them. Cotullo was released in April 2021, and his parole ended in July of last year. Well, sir, if they find the evidence they need, it seems like you're going to be going back to jail. Now, do I wish this? No. This guy, when you're driving dirty, you don't do mistakes like failing to signal, talking with your cell phone in your hand, smoking a blunt in your hand. You know how many dudes I know went to jail because they had pounds of shit in the car and they got caught because they were smoking a blunt? 39 oxys. Now they're going to... Well, two police scanners. Good job. You fucked everything up, this guy. Drugs. Of course it had to be drugs. It had to be drugs. You know? Big Rich Queens, New York City. Let me give a shout out to... My homegirl, boss lady, Harley Sicily, Frank Nunzi, Jimmy Dean, Cali Nuts, and everybody that comes in to check out the morning show from time to time. Salute, be well, we will talk soon.